fun stuff crossing a block right now, and I think this really qualifies as fun. A 1970 Suzuki Custom. Well, these key trucks uh, now are eligible to be imported to the U.S. if they're over 25 years old, and in many states, like North Carolina, where I live, you can register them for use on roads posted for 45 miles per hour or less. They are limited in length, width, wheelbase, and power. 650 cc's, three cylinders, that's all you get with one of these. Most of them are cab over pickup trucks. A lot of them are minivans, and boy, this one's had a full customization. I think it's pretty cool, and yes, stay in school. Well, this one has been treated to a heart transplant. That little three-banger has replaced by a Volkswagen flat four, which I never thought I'd think of as a hot rod upgrade, but it probably has twice the power. So this is probably a fairly peppy little school bus. Well, I'll tell you what. Cute sells, I said that earlier, and Cute is bringing in serious money. As I said just a moment ago, the top seller was $11,000. This is already at $28,000, 29, and still going up. The wheels on this one are American Racing Torque Thrusts, which first came out in 1961 or two, I believe, in magnesium or aluminum. They're still very popular today. And I'm glad they gave this one a, a tr heart transplant because the original engine could hardly turn those wheels and tires over. But boy, does this look like a lot of fun. Yeah, when you talk about a key car, you know, it's spelled K-E-I, and that's what they, the Japanese term is for these cars. And there's tons of them, all kinds of really fun little stuff. And as you mentioned, some of them starting to kind of leak their way into the United States. Take a look in the back here. Open the door. Yeah, maybe not. Uh. Let's go. Nope, not today. Got seating for four people in the back. $28,000 the current bid. At one point they had it up to 29, but they decided to back it back down. The hammer comes down. $28,000 the final price for that 1970 Suzuki Custom School Bus. All right, so that'll do it for our first hour of live coverage from Barrett Jackson's very first fall auction here in Scottsdale. Ah, but don't worry, we still have four more hours coming your way.